Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It is 6.59 and I've just gotten out of the gym and I'm about to go home, drop the car off to Aiden. Did I say it's Wednesday? Did I say happy Wednesday? I'm not too sure, but happy Wednesday if I did not. I obviously have work today. There are a million and one signals in the car about things that are wrong. Luckily, nothing serious, but I need a new key battery. I need more screen wash, we need petrol. <laughs> there is a lot going on inside the car this morning. But I hope you all are doing well. I'm feeling really nice, refreshed and rested. I've been ill, like I was ill. Was I vlogging when I was ill? I think I was actually. But I've only just started to feel better this week. Like it really took me out for nearly two whole weeks. And this is the first time that I've been to the gym in three weeks. It was, it was a struggle. I was meant to go yesterday and I just, I could not get out of my bed. But I really persevered this morning and I'm feeling really good that I got out and got in a little workout. It wasn't that long, um, but you know, it was something. I feel like we've got lots to catch up on when I get home. So I will speak to you guys when I'm home and I've got a coffee and you know, things are going a little bit better for me because right now I'm sweaty and still tired. I just went downstairs to grab myself some lunch and make myself a cup of tea and brother came down because if you guys don't know me and brother work for the same company and he was like Talira pull up the thread that like we all talk on and this is what greeted me and people are literally asking me if I'm okay like it's so long and it's all thanks to this this cutie because I'd left my laptop on my bed whilst I went downstairs and midnight just decided he's now staring at me with wide eyes like why have you woken me decided it would make a good bed for him so yeah I had to apologize and explain that we've apparently got a new team member I thought we could start the little catch-up of the vlog on books and readings so if you aren't a fan of reading and books feel free to skip. But since I last spoke to you guys, I think the last time that I vlogged, I was gonna start reading Verity. So, read Verity, and it was the first ever thriller that I've ever read. Read? <laughs> read? And I think I would have liked it, but the only issue is, is that I came across a spoiler on TikTok. Like, I really didn't want any spoilers, but it just came up. I knew what was gonna happen. Let's just put it that way. So I didn't really like enjoy it that much. And then I was like, okay, well, I didn't enjoy it that much. Let me try a different thriller. So then I tried The Housemaid. The Housemaid? The Housemaid Secret? I'm not too sure. Something about The Housemaid. And genuinely, it was the most boring book I have ever read, which sounds harsh because a lot of people enjoy that book. I don't know if it's because I literally read the whole book in one day. It was not good. It was how how did it even end oh uh, yeah i remember it just got so boring at one point like i like slow burner books because i like to be invested in the characters but there was literally just like so much waffling going on in it and i was just like let's just get to the point now let's get to the exciting things so i didn't enjoy that one so then i thought i'd go back to another colleen hoover thriller which is called too late but had to buy it and I didn't want to spend any more money on buying books and I have a lot of to be read romance books so I was like I'm just gonna head back to the romances because I know that I love them so I'm currently on the twisted series I'm on the first book of twisted love and I don't know if maybe I'm going into a book slump or something because I'm not enjoying this one either I'm 54% the way through and maybe it's because it's a shorter book so i've obviously just finished the books that absolutely have my heart are the lucy score knock mount series books and they're big chunky books they're slow burners you really get to know every character but obviously because it's a chunky book you can afford to take your time with it but this one just kind of feels like it went from zero to 100 really quick i'm gonna not give any spoilers but it's a romance book so obviously you know the two characters are gonna get into a relationship but they literally went from like not knowing each other to basically in love and i'm like so i'm not sure if i'm just in a bit of a book slump right now i'm gonna persevere through the twisted love series and hopefully i fall in love with it i'm praying because otherwise that'll be a lot of wasted time let me know your favorite books and favorite thrillers i don't know if i could get into fantasy i don't know if my mind could quite get there but Anyway, let me know. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Happy game day. If you didn't watch my last weekly vlog, then you won't know. But Aiden's football team got through to the first round proper. 
I think it's called, of the FA Cup and they're playing it tonight. I'm so freaking excited. Me and my mum are going. So yeah, I literally woke up this morning at Aiden and I was like, Today's the day, it's gonna be on ITV4. Aiden did an interview with the local news, like the local ITV news, so oh, I'm literally so excited. So that is the plan for this evening. Kickoff is at 7.45 and I think Aiden's got a pretty chill day at work. So yeah, it's gonna be an exciting day, but it is currently, it's a little bit late, I'm not gonna lie, and I've, I mean, I'm technically still in bed. Where? And uh, Oh, here it is. My phone. It is 9.26 and I've just had a chilled morning. Battery is also currently flashing, so that is brilliant. But I never allow myself to have a lay-in. Like, even on the weekend, on a Sunday morning, I can guarantee you that I'm out of bed by like 8.30, 9 o'clock. So I thought this morning i just have a chill. I mean, I've been up since... I've been up all morning, basically. Like, I was up between the hours of 3 and 5. And then I finally went to bed to sleep for a couple of hours before Aiden got up for work. But I think my mum and I are going to pop out to m &S. I feel like all my mum and I do is go to m &S. All the time. You guys must be so bored of it. I don't know why she needs to go, but she just said, I'm going to go. Do you want to come? And we can go out for lunch. And I was like, yeah, I'll have a mother-daughter day. So we're going to do that. I also need to pack for teaching tomorrow because I won't have any time to do it tonight. And then Aiden and I are actually going away this weekend. Like very last minute just a really random hotel but we just thought that we'd get away for the night because Aiden has the weekend of football because obviously he's playing tonight so yeah I need to also pack for that I need to pack for me and Aiden so yeah that is the day's plan currently packing for the weekend and I don't know what I'm gonna pack my stuff in because I was gonna take my little suitcase but it's inside two other suitcases underneath all of this. So I'm like, I I don't know if I can be bothered to get out. And I've sorted out Aiden's clothes. He just needs to do his like socks and underwear, but he can do that himself. And now I'm just thinking about what I want to take. So we're going out for dinner tomorrow night and I just want to look nice. Like, I just want to look cute. I feel like I always just wear the same boring clothes. And I've been a Pinterest girly recently. I absolutely love Pinterest. Like if I'm bored, you'll just see me scrolling on pinterest so i'm just trying to figure out what i want to wear so it's really annoying i have an asos order coming but it's coming tomorrow and i won't be able to get it because i'm going straight from dance to the hotel but we can either go like kind of fancy and wear like skirts tights and boots because it is the season after all or we could wear like leather look leggings with boots but i don't really have a pair of like short boots the only black boots that I have are a little bit short are combat boots and I feel like that's a little bit much. I should probably check underneath my bed because I probably do actually have some more boots that I don't even know about. So we can either do like one of those but I don't have a nice black long coat like I'd have to wear my aviator. Or we could go for jeans probably similar to what I'm going to wear today. This is quite a cute look like jeans, black blazer, black top and again and maybe wear it with a pair of loafers. But I don't know how that's going to look on me. I tried that outfit last year and I hated it. You're not talking. I'm, sorry, I'm not going to I'm just eating. All oh, right. I can't use it out about my mum. I've got a m and plant kitchen sausage roll. My mum's got a... I've got the... Is it? Is it no, it's not. It's the turkey, turkey feast. feast. I'm very upset because last... For the last two years, yeah. I think... Had this I've literally day. lived off of the vegetarian, well, maybe vegan. I'm not too I sure. I think it was vegan. It was definitely plant based. But I was living off of their Christmas sandwich and they decided to stop doing it this year and replace it with a pesto vegetable one. I oh know, it's not very really Christmassy. There's nothing Christmassy about pesto. And I just, I feel like everywhere recently, I'm getting rid of like their meat substitutions and just using vegetables. And I'm just. I don't eat meat because I don't like meat, like, that's not why I don't eat it, I just don't like the thought of eating animals, but I'm still happy to eat fake meat, as I'm doing right now, so it's really frustrating, so I'm going to have to find somewhere that actually does, oh, that's your phone ringing, did a little bit of damage in m and now we're going to pop to next, that's it. Mm. And home time. We've just gotten in, and I thought I'd give you guys a little literally a tiny little one i'm going to show you everything we got from MS because that's a little bit boring for you guys but we picked up i'm gonna have one of these now 
might take them upstairs and see if Aiden wants one. He's just having a nap upstairs. Some triple chocolate cookies. I feel like my hardest decision in life is whether I want to get triple chocolate, white chocolate, or milk chocolate. But I went with triple today. And then we've got lots of other bits, but the most exciting bits are chocolate cookies and the Percy Pig. So picked up festive helpers and then just the normal Merry Pers Percymus. Percy Pigs. So I take one packet tonight to football and then one packet to dance tomorrow. Also, I actually picked these up. These look fun. They're pizza calzones. I think that's how you say it with garlic dip. I think it's just cheese and tomato in there. I thought they'd be nice to snack on. And finally, this is like the craziest thing, but a girl that I literally grew up dancing with, she also teaches at the dance school with me, had a baby. I don't think she's going to watch this, so I'm going to show you guys what we got her because... To be fair, we actually don't know when we're going to see her anyway, or if we're going to be able to see her to give her the gifts because obviously she's just had a child. So we picked up some stuff, like literally known Alicia since I was eight years old, and I'm now seven. Seven years old. Seven, eight. It's basically the same. So that's like 17 years of my life, which is crazy. So we've got a little bag and a little card that I actually haven't seen yet. So. Cute. Very cute. There you go. That. Oh, oh, thanks. Need to put it in the bag. And then we picked up a little cute blanket with some stars on. She has a little boy. And then we just picked up these baby grows. I was saying to my mum, like, it'd be so easy to guess what Alicia would dress her daughter in. But dressing her son, we're a little bit unsure about what she like decide to choose so we just picked up decide to choose that makes no sense so we just picked up a set of three baby grows none with feet though and i'm trying to think back to all the influencers that i've heard say that maybe they prefer feet on their baby grows but honestly i'm not too sure so yeah that's everything we picked up but i'm gonna eat a cookie and go see aiden who i'm sure is very nervous about tonight guys we're absolutely dying aiden was on the news earlier he had someone coming to work with him Last week now? God knows how old, but watching Steven Gerrard score against West Ham. But now he's on the blimmin' news. How funny, this obviously isn't Aiden. The title, but... Wow. <laughs> Just getting ready to leave for Aiden's game. What is the time? It is 5.40. Kickoff isn't until 7.45, but we need to get petrol. I think there's a lot of traffic getting over to Sheppey as well. So we're going to leave in... A little bit but i'm honestly feeling so anxious <laughs> i think i might be confusing anxiety with excitement but it's just how i'm feeling right now aiden left like 10 minutes ago so hopefully he won't get stuck in too much traffic and hopefully we won't either but i'm going full-on winter football mode with a beanie because it's raining and a long puffer jacket i was gonna wear like thermals underneath but i don't think it's actually like that cold yet so i think i will leave those until here's the depths of winter but i'm gonna bring my percy pigs with me my emotional support suite i don't know what position would be worse for your boyfriend to play in football i feel like a goalkeeper is quite a big position to have because you know you've got to save the goals at the end of the day you've got to save the penalties if it gets to penalties and i don't know if i'd rather him be like out in the field somewhere. I don't know. But this is the OOTD. I've got a crusty napkin in my pocket. I've just got on some boots, jeans, black top. I don't think that my bag really matches the vibes, but I need to fit in my Percy Pig. So this is the biggest black bag that I have. I really wish I should have got one when I was in France because then I wouldn't have to worry about buying one now. But I should have got a black version of this because I just think, I mean, it, it will go. It doesn't not go. Shall I put on this one? I think I might switch. Okay, I actually think it's kind of cute. Like, it does stick out like a sore thumb. But, I mean, let's be honest. Who cares what I look like? I'm going to a football game. <laughs> We're going. I'm going to bring some water with me as well, although I don't want to need a wee because the only toilets that they've got open are like porta potties. And I, I don't like that.
a blooming evening. Like actually, what an evening. I'm genuinely like, I've been in the car beaming on Twitter, reading things about Aiden. Like it has been incredible. And I can only imagine how Aiden is feeling. They did in fact lose. So you'll probably like to know why you're so happy, but the fact that they got round to like the first round proper of the FA Cup as a non-league team who literally have like full-time jobs and do football on the side, like I'm just so friggin' proud of him. And to make things even better, he only went and got blooming player of the match. Like Emirates player of the match. I am I actually cannot. Like, look at him. He's literally got the trophy. Is it a trophy? An award? I don't really friggin' know. He's done an interview on ITV and oh, like I haven't obviously properly watched the whole game, but every time Aiden would make a save, which he made 12 saves, he really kept Sheppy in the game. Every time he'd make a save, obviously the live stream is slightly delayed. I'd like quickly go on the live stream so I could watch it in slow-mo and yeah, I'm just like literally so excited for him. Like who knows what who knows if this is going to do anything for him but i just know that he's going to be like so happy with himself and i can't wait to see him although i don't see him getting home anytime soon because he's said he's got to do more interviews and yeah i'm just i just can't wait to see him so i'll let you guys talk to him tomorrow but also like you guys have been so sweet as well like, i've had so many dms saying that you guys were watching and like well done aiden and you're proud of him and i just love like the little family that we've got going on um so yeah i just oh i don't even know how to feel i don't know how i'm gonna sleep it's 10 30 i've got to be up at 6 30 tomorrow morning but i'm like how can i sleep when i'm like buzzing like buzzed I, I have no idea. So yeah, oh gosh, I don't really know what else to say. How many Percy pigs did I eat? Literally every time the ball went near Aiden, I was like, Percy pig, give me strength. Okay, we've got three, so I kind of may as well just eat them before we go to bed, so. Cheers to an amazing evening. Cheers to my blooming boyfriend. Good night. Happy Saturday, everyone. We have just gotten to the hotel that we are staying in tonight it's just a bit of like a random one we're in guildford so it's not like anything fancy like we didn't come here for any particular reason but we were just looking around at hotels and this one seemed nice enough but it is coming up to 6 30. we just saw aiden on the news again he got contacted by bbc to go on to the local news so well my mum actually sent me a video because we weren't in the hotel room at the right time. But I'm just going to pop in the shower after a great day at dance. It was pretty chill to be honest, which is good news. Everyone was on their ish, which is always lovely to hear. Or I guess more lovely to see because you see dancing, not hear it. And then tonight we're going to go out for dinner. We're going to go to the Cozy Club. Never been there for food, but they also have like cocktails. There's also a really nice bar downstairs. All ready to go out. Got on my boots. Feeling kind of cute. I feel like I wish that I had some kind of hair accessory. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a nice little... Oh, God, coat. It's not a coat. Now watch this, look. The jacket. You would have scored this. I would have. Yeah. But as I was saying, I wish I had like a little hair bow. I feel like it would complete the look. But I've just tucked my top into my bralette and I hope it's okay. And I've also had to roll the skirt so you can see the plastic button, which is like really super ugly. You haven't seen everyone since um, you were a national treasure. Mm. Aileen got out of the car earlier to pop to the shop when he picked me up from dance. And he was like, I'm famous or something, I'm a celebrity. Like Jack Greenish. And then the guy, the girl, woman, whatever, that walked past him, like, looked back and was like, what, here he is, in his new jacket I got him. It is from Primark, so not that famous, because we still have to shop in Primark. Looks yeah. nice. I'm just humble. <laughs> Say humble. Anyway, we're going to actually plot twist to our dinner plans. So we went to be going to a cozy club, for dinner and Aiden's been really excited about it and then I just got a call from them and I went to voicemail because I didn't realise they were calling me and uh, they got no running water so they want to cancel our booking and like reschedule but I'm like how late do you want to reschedule because it's currently 7.37 I want dinner I am hungry so 
I don't know what's happening. And every time I try to call them back, it doesn't go through. So, good news for us. Keep you updated. Just stay like a couple of feet behind me. <laughs> you literally just got that on film. You're exposed for being a diva. And this is how I'm currently going out. No, it's this way. No, it's this way. <coughs> I'm so bad. At directions, Aiden always gets really annoyed at me. We are currently going out in my puffer. I don't think you can even see any leg with my uh, my boots. Oh. Let's go, there's someone coming. So, Cozy Pub was closed and the only restaurant I think around here that's open yeah. is Bill's. So, we just got some starters. It's really shame you can't try this because the sauce is I know, I'm really jealous. Don't know what the sauce is, but Aiden got chicken and... What is it? Oh, sesame, sesame dumplings. Really want to try these, but I can't. And we just got a little bit of halloumi. Although I'm um, also having halloumi for my main. Oh, there's. Good? What did you think it was? We've just gotten in. Feeling a little bit, a little bit wet. I'm actually all right. The coat absorbed most of the rain but i actually cannot believe that the one night that we decided to come away well i actually can believe because me and aiden for a long time we were known as like the most unluckiest couple because everything we used to plan would just disintegrate before our eyes so yeah every restaurant basically was closed apart from bills probably i, I can't so. really think because well, all the ones on the way back had all the signs outside. yeah so we ended up in bills Mill's okay. I was saying to Aiden, like, I don't really, since turning veggie, I just find it hard to find meals that I really are like, mm, that was a great meal. Like, it very rarely happens for me anymore. But it was a decent meal. I wasn't like blown away by it. But it is what it is. Whoopsie. So, yeah, I'm just gonna basically get in bed. It is 9.30. We had dessert, so it's not even like we can order dessert to the room. Don't know where we're gonna go for dinner, uh, breakfast in the morning, but anyway, I'm gonna take off all my makeup and get into bed. So talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It is 10.30 in the morning. We need to be out of our hotel room in half an hour and we aren't quite ready just yet. We've just ordered a Starbucks. This is a very strong coffee. They've made this very, very strong. But honestly, I'm not too fast because I am so tired this morning. My eyes are so puffy. But Aiden has just gone to go and move the car. Also got myself a cheese and tomato croissant. And then I think we are gonna hit up the spa. I'm just trying to figure out like, I don't have a locker for any lockers that they have at the spa. So hopefully we can rent one out. I'm just like, I'm just not with it this morning. I had a long sleep last night though, so that's obviously a good thing, but I think where I didn't really sleep much on Friday night, it's still um, still wearing me down. Mmm. Never had a cheese and tomato croissant from Starbucks, but very, very good. Well, we just seem to be having fail after fail. What was our first fail? Bill. Oh, yesterday, <laughs> dinner. I don't know, I haven't got my seatbelt on yet. Nice Chill out. So we just went to go and... Uh, Go to the spa and she told us that they're like fully booked right now until 12 13. it's only like an hour and 15 minutes away but then we'll have to pay for parking and we have to pay to get into the spa like it's maybe we should have more research on our stay although we wouldn't have known that the water was not going to be working so um, do you want to go the shortest miles or the quickest so yeah, we're now just going to go chill at Aiden's for a bit and then being dragged to the football. I'm not going to drag you there. Yeah? No, I'm just going to say we're going to, we're going to go to the football now and if you want to come and get in the vehicle with us then you can, you can do that at your own will. We have just made it home from the second football game of the weekend and it was an okay game. It didn't like, yeah. you know, interest me by any means. Sorry about Aiden flicking on the uh, TV if that is distracting. But I had an ASOS parcel turn up yesterday, so I thought we could finish off the vlog with a little ASOS haul because I'm very aware it's been very football and 
not a football channel, nor do I even really have too much interest in football. But you know, I do try for Aiden's sake. So the first I got was, the, oh, these are very nice. What do you think, Aiden? Ooh, very nice. A pair of heeled boots, just something a little bit more mature, because you know, I am slowly approaching my 25th birthday. So we will try those on in a second. And then the next thing I got was a blazer from Topshop, and it's like completely wool. I'm not too sure how I feel about it kind of give me like granddad vibes and then finally we have another coat i'm really getting ready for the uh autumn winter weather but hopefully it stops raining because i can't wear all this stuff in the rain stradivarius stradivarius it's like a long coat it's quite thin if i'm honest um i don't know we will uh we will try it on first coat on is this one i feel like i'm giving myself um Doctor, what was it? Doctor Gadget? Inspector Gadget? Who the hell knows? Um, Aiden, what do you think of my coat? I don't think I like it. No? I think you could style it pretty nice. And then we have the Topshop blazer. Obviously would not wear it with this outfit. I'm thinking this with like black tights and that. Ooh. I don't think I like the shoulders. I don't know. Oh! Got something in my pocket. I think it's in like lipstick. Oh, is this from me? It's in that lipstick. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Like, it's like so used. Like, it's not even focusing. That means that someone's literally like worn this out. I'm definitely not gonna keep this. Is there a tag in it? It's not a tag in it or anything. It doesn't smell bad. Well, that is disgusting. I love how I knew what kind of lipstick it was just from feeling it in the pocket. That is going back. I wasn't sure how I felt about it anyway. Oh my god, there's actually a hair on it. Okay, goodbye. It's definitely not my hair either. Hopefully these haven't been worn. There you go. You can't even see. These are the boots on. And then, oh, they're a little, just a bit big around my ankle, if I'm honest. They're cute. I don't know if I'm like, obsessed with them. There's another pair on ASOS that I really wanted, but they didn't have my size. So I just picked these ones up just in case, like I fell in love with them. But they've got like a very fine snake print on them, which I think is the thing that might be throwing me off of them. So I actually think I might be sending everything back to ASOS, which I'm actually surprised about because I really thought I was going to love everything. Definitely sending back that blazer. But anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog here because I think we've got some more exciting things to look at that are involving Aiden. So I'm going to jump in the shower get into bed and I will see you all next week with a new vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out. Good night.